Well, uh, good morning, and I'm Victor Zhao. Uh, I'm the uh, Chancellor for Health Affairs Duke University and Chief Executive of the Duke University Health System. Now, I chaired a session on Health Advantage, Transforming Competitiveness in the Asian Region. And the topic we talk about is really clearly health and healthcare. And uh, so the critical issue to understand is this is a very important issue, both from a society perspective, but also an economic perspective. Uh, if you look at what's happening in this region, uh, a recent study showed that 60% of disease burden and deaths are related to non-communicable care, uh, chronic disease or NCD, non-communicable chronic disease. That's obesity, diabetes, hypertension, arthritis and many others. So instead of thinking only about infectious disease such as malaria, TB, dengue, more and more recognize that it's important to reduce and prevent these NCDs. These are lifestyle and uh, environmental issues uh, such as uh, you know, nutrition, exercise, tobacco use, etc. And the panel discussion is very clear that everybody agrees that we need to change government policy and to create incentive to do more prevention and to reduce future burdens of disease. There's also a big discussion about the role of the business sector, that is, what do employers have to do to enhance wellness at the workplace? And obviously, the healthier the employer, the better is the business. So we had a long discussion in the importance of workplace wellness uh, as an initiative. But also, I think there's recognition that there's a whole health and healthcare ecosystem that involves everyone, it involves individual and their own behavior, involves uh, schools, community, but also government and also business, and of course, healthcare systems, those who deliver healthcare, such as doctors, nurses, etc. Only by working together as one and focus on reducing the NCDs can we overall improve the health of a community, improve productivity, but also reduce the overall financial burden, which as you know can make countries insolvent if we don't solve the problem of healthcare cost. So thank you very much. It's been a great experience.